we have here is called a converting toolbox. Typically, engineers have to dynamically calculate the diameter here. You can utilize the infrared sensor to detect it, or by looking at the load and trying to guess you know, how much diameter is there. When you guess, you leave more on the core. The way that Siemens does it is that we look at the position of these dancers and we do a calculation back into the muscle control. We can almost run this to the meaning that we're utilizing more of the material, less waste, and the stability within this machine. Tension is very important in a winder. Okay? What you have right now is this vacuum roll is very integral to this system. You can hear the vacuum running. That more or less is helping the web remain stable, helping these dancers remain stable. Okay? Without that vacuum roll, you should see some instability in the web. The mechanical setup here is no different than what normal converters and labels would utilize. But what we're able to do is by controlling the diameter, controlling the load in this motion system, we're able to be able to take the vacuum completely off. There's no disturbance in the web. Okay? One step further, stop the machine. There's no disturbance in the web. Start the machine. Again, no disturbance. Alright? So that means less downtime, no web breaks, okay? And the reduction in complex hardware. And again, we're doing this not through a, a super powerful controller. So most has been on the market for a while. It's through the converting toolbox. What that means is that there's standard functions within that device that allow you to easily do what we're doing here. You don't have to create it yourself. So all your machines, I'm okay. saying. Now all the aspects that we talked about before relevant to safety, again, exist in that. Motion control, there, okay? And then, in addition to that, you're able to do PLC functions as well. There's no PLC. There's IO that's actually being controlled by the drive. And you see, we're able to get that pretty close to the core. And not to top the vacuum pressure, so it's pretty good. So with this level of intelligence actually on the drives now, I mean, it might, I mean obviously the PLC or the controller is not going away, but are you seeing a lessening of the need for certain applications? that have historically had that, that just don't need it anymore, or is this an option thing at this point? This more or less reduces the overall cost of integration and the overall importance of the PLC in every single process. The PLC should be the master of devices, not controlling or uh, calculating everything in every device. PLCs have a finite limitation in terms of capability of processing, right? So you only want to put critical key functions in there and allow things such as this module, that module to operate independently. If not, we'll just keep adding PLCs across the machine. The network can only get so big. And then when you talk about the PLC, you're not just talking about it, but you're talking about a safety PLC, you're talking about a standard PLC, and you're talking about a motion controller. You can't have the motion controller necessarily in an Ethernet bus if you've got your computer network in your Ethernet bus. So the number of things to maintain increases. Is this level that you've got this at on so many different applications from safety to just functional operation, is this fairly unique to Siemens to have this ability? I mean, because I know there's plenty of drives out there with that level of intelligence on it, but for this many different types of applications, is this unique to Siemens or is it becoming fairly complex? The approach that Siemens has is that it's a standard method to do it for all applications. Mm -hmm. So you can take this drive, which is on a winder application, that which is on a slicing machine and do exactly the same thing in the same way. You don't have to programmatically do anything different. The software package for the drives, Synatics drives, is free. The safety integration that we talked about is inherent to the product. So the way that Siemens is... Okay. I was just going to say, is this, uh, as far as just the application is concerned, is this the rest of the existing machines or is this for new machines? Both retrofits are easy because the system is pretty much self-contained. You can add it to an existing architecture and network and be a one cable. It 
doesn't need to be integrated. This is a multi-axis solution. Right behind you is a single-axis variant. Now, historically, 